Good morning, a lazy, lazy wake up this morning because we stayed up late watching um, Sex Education Season 3. Cannot stress this enough, it's really good. I was really hoping I'd wake up this morning and my eye would just be like recovered, but it isn't. It's just like still really red and gross. I haven't died yet, so I guess that's something that's good. The reason that we are up early this morning is because we have to get our COVID tests uh, ready for our return to the UK tomorrow. Pause for sadness. We've got an appointment for 10.30. It's by the Sagrada de Familia, so we're gonna go check that out at the same time. See if we can't sneak into the top. But first, a little bit of hotel breakfast. All right, spot of breakfast achieved. Um, just had a little smorgasbord, nothing too fancy, croissants, fruit, etc. The sky is blue, the sun is shining, which is great. We are walking about a half hour to get to where our COVID test is. Uh, we're not in any huge hurry, so we're just gonna take it nice and easy and hopefully get a negative result on the other side or a positive one, and then we can stay here forever. Ooh, buildings, yeah, love to travel. Okay, we just had our test. Relatively pain free in that it was quick and straightforward. It wasn't pain free, it hurt my nose. But they did violate our nostrils without our consent because we booked for a saliva test and they just jammed it right up there. That's the first time I've had someone forcibly insert something into my nose and I really hated it. I sneezed and had a little bit of a nosebleed afterwards. A little bit. Just a little bit, just some blood. Girls, what an emotional roller coaster. Um, bad. It was that bad. <laughs> the waiting time really was scary because mine took longer than everyone else's. Shit like that always happens to me, I swear to God. But can confirm we both do have two very negative results. So we are safe to fly, kind of unfortunately, because I don't want to leave. But now we're going to go to the Sagrada de Familia because it's what you should do when you come to Barcelona. And it's supposed to be very, very gorgeous. So we're going to find out. Well, we made it. We're here. Look, gorgeous. Wow. Ooh, ooh. Take a tourist photo. Ooh, ooh. Do the mum pose. I don't know how they do it. Um, yeah, it's really nice. It's really pretty. So we've walked around the other side to the older side. You can tell it's older because it looks older. Um, and Nell's made a very valid point is this is why we don't go on a Sunday because big queues But I feel like you get most of the gorgeousness from right here anyway, so like who really cares? How lovely Okay, we're getting the bus back to the hotel to decide what we want to do next it's here right now, so we're running up. Oof, sorry about that, a little bit brushed, because the bus was there, and you just have to go for it when it's there, you know? Um, but we're back at the bus stop where we get off, which is Plaza, can confirm, de Catalunya, which is Catalonian for Catalonia, or whatever. Um, and this is the big square, which I haven't actually shown yet. It's like a big, just a big old square. Very, very brief pit stop where we resisted the urge of all urges to fall back asleep. I think we're both quite tired today. Are we both quite tired today? Yeah, we shouldn't have stayed up so late and then got up so early. Um, but we dragged ourselves out the room once again. We're going now to the gay nudist beach. Um, because I thought it would be a shame if we didn't get to capture at least some of that whilst we're on holiday. We went the other day, we went a couple of times already, it's really, really nice. Um, but we're going to take you there and have a lovely time, catch the last few rays before we have to depart back to England tomorrow. We have arrived, we have arrived. Now I probably won't do too much chit-chatting on this beach because there's a lot of naked people around and it might make people uncomfortable. But today we have a green flag which means it's going to be nice and calm in the ocean. The other days we've been here it's all been yellow flag which is like, be careful, it's choppy. What I do want to show you is 
this gorgeous bar entitled Be Gay, very appropriately named, um, couldn't agree more if I tried, serves food, drinks and all kinds of gorgeousness, um, and that's really the centre focal point for Gay Do This Beach. So we'll probably be getting a couple of drinks here, but for now we're going to find a spot and take a little nap, I think. And relax, we found ourselves a nice little spot quite close to the beach, quite close to the sea even, because it's busy today, it is a Sunday. Um, just had a teeny tiny little dip in the ocean, by that of course I mean a wee. Um, and now we're going to have a little nappy nap, maybe some food later, and I'll show you a bit more of the beach in a bit, but for now I'm just tired and I want to clock off, so... I'm sorry, um, yes, yes, until then. Okay, we haven't managed to see Esther as of yet, because uh, actually I'm hungry, so we're going to get some food at Be Gay, and then have a siesta. Right, I've gone for a Beyond Meat patty, which is actually widely available here in Barcelona, which is great. I wanted to get some authentic Spanish food as per usual, but we take what we can get when it's a beach bar and the vegetarian options are sometimes limited. So I'm going to enjoy this, shut the fuck up, and then go for a little snooze. Well, we've had a gorgeous holiday, quite frankly. I've got one more plan for the rest of the day. We're going to go find a gorgeous sunset point, which is about 40 minutes train away from here or something like that. 40 minutes transport away of some description. And catch a nice, romantic, gorgeous sunset for our last sunny evening here in Barcelona. Little did we know, we'd actually be going on an adventure hike up a load of steps. But behind us we can see, well you can't see it now, but there is the Sagrada Familia again. Twice in one day, what a privilege. And behind that is the ocean. Who fucking knew? We're not even at the top yet and the views are getting gorgeous there and gorgeous there by the sea. We reached like a little halfway point where the view is very, very gorgeous, but we're not stopping long because onwards the adventure continues. We're heading all the way up there via this little side windy business. Not like us to be wearing sensible hiking footwear, am I right? girls, the tourists in all their glory. <laughs> and everywhere you go, you can always find a beer. Well, this has officially been the gayest shit I have done in my life. Watching the sunset over a very romantic, gorgeous viewpoint with my gorgeous boyfriend. Oh my God, a year ago me would throw up at me now. Um, but we won't dwell on the past, we'll dwell on the present, we're having a lovely time. I think that's it for this vlog, girls. I th I've got nothing else planned for the trip to Barcelona. I'm going home tomorrow and it's gonna be a travel day. It will be stressful, there'll be COVID, there'll be security, I can't be asked. I wanna put this camera away. I'm still a little bit out of practice, but I have had a really fun time. Um, showing you this trip that we've been on, it's been really, really fun. It's been really good. I can't wait to go on another trip. I, I wanna, I'm ready to cancel any and all plans that I have in my diary and just go the fuck away now. Until the next video comes out, I'll see you again soon, somewhere or never. Find me on the gram. Bye, girls. <laughs>